All right, Jermaine's going to come in for cobras. Place those hands to his side, palms down, hands and chest off the ground as high as he can. Notice those feet are staying on the ground. All right, good. Pop it up. And just Sharon's going to come in with push-up toe touch. Notice her hips are nice and straight and she's reaching for the opposite toe. We're going to go ahead and go get a modification out of that. Notice that if she's on her knees, her hips are still nice and low. And then she's going to reach for those knees instead of going all the way to the toes. One more for the reach into that knee. There we go. Pop it up. And then Tremaine's going to come up for bear crawls. Up two, back one. He's going to keep his hips down nice and low. Up two, back one. All right. Good to go. Pop it up. And then Sharon's coming in for mountain climber drills. She's going to go five and five. We're going to do the full five. Each limb is a half. And then she'll pop it down, keeping those hips down nice and low. And then she'll pop it back up for the other. Those are your high mountain climbers. Good to go. Tremaine's going to come back and bring it back the other way for bear crawls. Up two, back one. All right, good to go. Sharon's going to come back in with those push-ups, toe touch. Doing everything for 30 seconds. All right, good to go. Tremaine's going to come back in with those cobras. Make sure those hands are coming up as high as you possibly can. And good to go. And now we're going to go back the other way, coming back in for push-ups to toe touch. All right, good to go. And then Tremaine's coming back in with those bear crawls. Up two, back one. Good to go. And back to our flash mob of mountain climbers drill. Five and five. Down we go. All right, good to go. Tremaine back in for bear crawls. Up two, back one. And then Sharon's in for push-ups toe touch. And then Tremaine's back in with the last one of the Cobras. And good to go. You do that, you'll rest for a minute, 15 seconds, and then we'll start the next round. All right, Sharon's gonna come in for double crunch with the weight. Notice her feet are nice and close to her bottom. And she's going to come up and give me a good squeeze. She's going to keep her feet really close to her bottom versus letting her legs go up to the sky. And she's going to come in and squeeze, blow all that air out, and then back to go. All right, good to go. All right, Jermaine's going to come in and show us dumbbell row. All right. And good to go. And then Sharon's going to come in and show us crap toe touch. And then Tremaine's going to come in and show us our mountain climber drill this time. And down we go. All right, good. Sharon's coming back in for crab toe touch. They'll give us a modified version this time. So she's just going to go in and keep those legs nice and tall. All right, pop it up. And then Tremaine's back in for dumbbell row. Notice that back's nice and flat chest is sticking out. Notice as you're keeping a big angle in those elbows, leading with the weights, leading with the elbows rather. All right, good to go. And then Sharon's coming back in for double crunch with toe touch with the weight. We can stop actually optional if you want, but come down and kind of touch those shoestrings. All right, good to go. And Tremaine's going to come back in with those dumbbell rows. Good to go. And Sharon's back in for crab toe touch. Notice those elbows are nice and soft on the little arms that she's staying on. Good to go. And then Tremaine's coming back in with those non common drill. Five and five. Notice those hips stay nice and low, driving those knees in. Good to go. All right, Sharon's back in for crab toe touch. 
and we're good to go. And one more time on those dumbbell rows. Right, so those knees are nice and soft, chest is sticking out, and good to go. Finish it up with dumbbell double crunch. And good to go.